Proto-Anatolian is the proto-language from which Anatolian languages emerged. As with all other proto-languages, no attested writings have been found. The language has been reconstructed by applying the comparative method to all the attested Anatolian languages as well as other Indo-European languages. Topic phonology For the most part, Proto-Anatolian has been reconstructed on the basis of Hittite, the best attested Anatolian language. However, the usage of Hittite cuneiform writing system limits the enterprise of understanding and reconstructing Anatolian phonology, partly from the deficiency of the adopted Akkadian cuneiform syllabary to represent Hittite phonemes and partly from Hittite scribal practices. It is especially pertinent to what appears to be confusion of voiceless and voiced dental stops, in which signs dv and tv are employed interchangeably in different attestations of the same word. Furthermore, in the syllables of the structure VC, only the signs with voiceless stops are usually used. Distribution of spellings with single and geminated consonants in the oldest extant monuments indicates that the reflexes of Proto-Indo-European voiceless stops were spelled as double consonants and the reflexes of Pi voiced stops as single consonants. This regularity is the most consistent in the case of dental stops in older texts. Later monuments often show a regular variation of this rule. Topic vowels Common Anatolian preserves the pi vowel system basically intact. Some cite the merger of pi asterisk o and asterisk a, including from asterisk he as a common Anatolian innovation, but according to Melchert that merger was a secondary shared innovation in Hittite, Palaic and Luvian, but not in Lycian. Concordantly, common Anatolian had the following short vowel segments, asterisk i, asterisk u, asterisk e, asterisk o, and asterisk a. Among the long vowels, asterisk, e, topic consonants One of the more characteristic phonological features common to all Anatolian languages is the lenition of the Proto-Indo-European voiceless consonants including the sibilant asterisk s and the laryngeal asterisk h between unstressed syllables and following long vowels. The two can be considered together as a lenition rule between unstressed moras, if long vowels are analyzed as a sequence of two vowels. All initial voiced stops in Anatolian eventually merge with the plain voiceless stops. Luwian, however, shows different treatment of asterisk g and asterisk k, showing that this was a late aerial development, not a Proto Anatolian one. Proto Anatolian is the only daughter language of Proto Indo European to retain the laryngeal consonants. The letter represents the laryngeal asterisk h and probably but less certainly also asterisk h. The sequences asterisk hw and asterisk hw yield a labialized laryngeal asterisk. In addition to the laryngeals, common Anatolian is also the only daughter to preserve the three part velar consonant distinction from Proto Indo European. The best evidence for this comes from its daughter language, Luwian. The voiced aspirated stops lost their aspiration over time and merged with the plain voiced stops. The liquids and nasals are inherited intact from Proto Indo European, and so is the glide asterisk w. No native Proto-Anatolian words begin with asterisk r. One possible explanation is that it was true in Proto-Indo-European as well. Another is that it is a feature of languages from the area of Proto-Anatolian's daughter languages. Morphology <inaudible> 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 According to Fortson, Proto-Anatolian had two verb conjugations. The first, the me conjugation was clearly derived from the familiar Proto-Indo-European present tense endings. The second, the high conjugation appears to be derived from the Proto-Indo-European perfect. One explanation is that Anatolian turned the perfect into a present tense for a certain group of verbs while another, newer idea is that the high verbs continue a special class of presents which had a complicated relationship with the Proto-Indo-European perfect. Notes References Sylvia Luraghi the Anatolian Languages", in edited by Anna Giacoloni Ramat and Paul Ramat. The Indo-European Languages. London and New York, Routledge. ISBN 978-0-415-06449-1, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Editor's List link. Craig Melchert 1987. Pi Velars in Luvian. PDF. Studies in Memory of Warren Cowgill. pp. 182-204. Retrieved 27 October 2008. Craig Melchert 1993. Historical Phonology of Anatolian. PDF. 
Journal of Indo-European Studies, 21. pp. 237-257. Retrieved 27 October 2008. Craig Melchert 1994. Anatolian Historical Phonology. Rodopi. ISBN 978-90-5183-697-4. Melchert, H. Craig 2015. Hittite Historical Phonology After 100 Years and After 20 Years. Rosny and Hittite, The First Hundred Years PDF. Retrieved 27 July 2016. Fortson, Benjamin W. 2009. Indo-European Language and Culture, An Introduction, 2, ed. Oxford, Wiley Blackwell. pp. 170-199. ISBN 978-1-4051-8896-8. See also Anatolian languages <laughs>